afternoon, everyone. We are back to make a drive to Hendersonville. Uh, this is a uh, standard test route as well. I like to have a bunch of different test routes just to have consistency in the test. I guess each tester has their um, own way to do things, and this is just the way I like to do it. I like to, I guess it's kind of like the scientific method, if you will, just to try and keep everything literally as consistent as possible, the, the route that is. The conditions will be different, and that's what we have to see, you know, it's raining a little bit today. How is that going to affect full self-driving? Um, it's light out versus the earlier videos on this route because of the time, and the winter is dark at this time. How, how does it mean dark versus light out? The other times, the sun is very harsh this time of the day, and so we have direct sunlight. How does that affect us? So you have different conditions for the same route, and so you can compare over different versions based on how, how each version does and just compare its performance. And as well as a lot of these routes have the same type of same roads like this on ramp has the same um, same thing and so like it didn't use the blinker this time for some reason um, but we'll see like is it gonna stay in the middle of the lanes because the road is wet right now so the road looks a little bit different to the car and there's less traffic on the road right now so we get over and everything's good. Like um, I'm gonna have to manually. Like it's not gonna. Okay. See what it does on this exit here. This is the first time we've had full self driving on this exit because the last time we came off this exit on our second drive of this version. Um, you gonna stay in the right lane? Hey, there it goes. Um, last time on this version, uh, on this route, route is what I'm trying to say, is uh, we had um, the system error where I just disabled, I had to drive manually on this. It is interesting, it chose the right lane to be in uh, automatically. Um, so that that's interesting because normally it would choose the left lane and not the right lane. Okay, let's see how it does at this turn right here. So, so far so good. Good. Now turn right onto Spartanburg Highway. Yeah, so that, okay, good. So previous updates would swing back into the other lane. This one we're just gonna go, okay, well. Eh, technically, I think the law is that if you're in the intersection when it's yellow, you're okay. Um, you guys comment down below <laughs> what you think. Um, personally, I would have pushed it faster and gone faster to make it through when it was still yellow, um, for sure. Um, but I let the car do its thing, it made it. It's it present, um, it present went and stopped, but um, that's um, interesting kind of thought process there. Like, like, as a human, I have to think about that as well. I'm like, should we go, should I stop? So yeah, those are things like the car is actively having to think like those decisions as well. Let's see how it does on this turn. Usually it does pretty good, but we're having to slow down the car behind us. They're actually turning as well. Ooh, okay. Slowed down a little bit too much in my opinion on that. Um, so the roads, again, are obviously wet, full water. Um, that will affect how it does on this road. Uh, this particular lane here it has really poor lane markings, and thus it uh, can have some issues keeping track. So 
right here it's water over road. Oh. Okay, this area is a flood zone right here. Always floods when there's heavy rain. We've uh, uh, had a lot of rain today and yesterday. So this is why that is flashing. That being said, I think this is the best that's ever done this section of the road. Um, it's very much more confident than previous. It should be slowing down. Yeah, that that was um turn right onto South King Street. Yeah, it was too confident there. Too confident. Um and it's good to go. What um it decided to go straight again. Um I need to look at the that but last time it did that it thought I was in um the wrong lane or something. That, that this version has a definite issue. That's the third time that's happened to me, where um, it just will get in the wrong lane. Unfortunately, yeah, this version was not better than the previous when it comes to this particular route. Mm, yeah, it doesn't really. It does, but it doesn't need the blinker on it because we're not making a left turn here, but we are getting into the other lane. It can just quickly turn its blinker on when the light changes. Okay, there's another disengagement. Wow. This uh, drive not doing too well tonight, everyone. Um, it's, it's like it has an issue with um, the, uh, figuring out where the lane is. Like That seems to be what's causing all my disengagements on this version. Um, it just kind of doesn't get the lane correct. So that's the end of this. I mean, three disengagements is obviously worse than zero um, on the last one. Um, but yeah, uh, it's going to be the end of this one, everyone. Uh, if you have questions for me, definitely um, put them down below. Um, now turn left onto North King Street. I just forgot to cancel the navigation. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.